We're at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on Stockbridge in the opening of the WIAA tournaments. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Alongside is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, uh, Stockbridge has really struggled through their season. They're four and 15, but they do got a nice player, senior Zach Wolfel. Uh, we found out just before we went on the air, he's 10 points away from getting 1,000 uh, in his career. So that's something to look forward to, but uh, you think Lutheran would have an easy time tonight? Yeah, unfortunately for Stockbridge, they got their hands full. There's just 49 kids at Stockbridge, and they play an independent schedule, and they play a, a lot of the teams from the CLC, and unfortunately for the CLC, they've taken care of Stockbridge, which when you have the conference champions and the CLC opening up with you, it's, it's a real tough task for you. But you're right, they do have a nice nice kid in Zach Wolfel. He's, he's in the top 50 in the state in scoring. He's averaging about 20 points a game. He's the only senior on the team. And Stockbridge only has uh, eight kids on their team, so, you know, it's going to be a tough task for them tonight. I was going through the uh, roster for Lutheran again now as I was prepping for tonight's game, and uh, I was just amazed at how many seniors they have. They're going to lose an awful lot this year. You know, if they want to do something, this would obviously be the year. Yeah, and, and I was listening to Mark Miller yesterday. He was talking on uh, ESPN Radio a little bit, uh, the local station, and on 950, and he said he picked Schweigen Lutheran to come out of this sectional, and so that's a pretty tall task for them. And one of the reasons he said it is because they're a senior group, and a lot of these kids played a couple years ago with some kid by the name of Sam Decker. Who's that? <laughs> and so they already got some medals already, you know, uh, with a state championship, and with their experience and playing together for so long, it does give them upper hand. Now down the road, they have to either face Fall River or Burlington Catholic Central, two teams they played at Concordia University. And they did end up losing to Burlington Catholic Central down there, but they did beat Ball, Fall River. Now, most likely, those teams will have to play each other way down the line, probably on, uh, we're talking next week, Thursday already. But that's a long way away, and there's a lot of lot of basketball. For I was thinking you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. we got to win tonight's game, although it shouldn't be, uh, you would think, not much of a problem. But if you're Lutheran, you know, especially Coach Verhagen, what do you want your team to do tonight, I mean, aside from winning? Stay healthy. <laughs> Number one is I want my kids to stay healthy. Let's get a comfortable lead, get my starter some time, and then let the rest of the kids play a little bit. The second thing, a big focus I think I'm going to concentrate on Lutheran for the next hopefully five times we see them is how they play defense. They've been giving up a lot of points. They went to Cedar Grove last week and gave up 80 points, and, you know, we saw them against Christian sometimes. My focus as a coach would be is, to stop teams. What, am I, what are we going to do to improve in stock? We know we can score, but can we stop teams? And you never know if, if down the line, maybe someday you can't shoot or score, you're going to have to play defense. All right, with that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and a tip off for tonight's game. Okay, Josh, do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't do the only guy. Generosity, pass it on. A little help from up above. To me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than 2 million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families. And there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com. At this time, we ask that you would please rise and join in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stars and bright stars grew a perilous fight for the pepper three hearts were so gallantly sweet. 
Ready to start action here tonight. I think I should have clarified myself, Marty. Mark Miller is the man who basically writes the basketball yearbook. Right. He gave predictions for every sectional yesterday in the radio, which I thought was pretty neat. Personally, I kind of need to hear. And uh, for them to hear Sheboygan Lutheran get all the way to state, if they would make it to state, they would possibly run into the other defeat Green Bay knew in the section or in the state. But state's a long way away from. Uh, tonight. Wolfel controls the tap for uh, the Indians. Referees for tonight's game are David Streisick, Mike Foyt, and Todd Resniak. Going down hard was uh, Juris. He gets fouled. Falls on Ecker. As we mentioned in the opening, Stockbridge just one senior on the team. They only have 49 kids in their whole school. And uh, it's a real neat play, Stockbridge. If you don't know about it, it's sturgeon fishing capital of the world. Located on the shores of uh, Lake Winnebago, or thereabouts. Lutheran putting on full court pressure, making it tough. You know, with not a very deep bench, you got to worry about uh, getting tired. Outside shot from the corner is no good. Sheely with the strong rebound. Zastrel trying to push it, and he does, but his shot is blocked by Wolfel. Juris, no good. And Stockbridge loses it out of bounds. Zach Wolfel, number 12. Well, looks like a good jumper too, Chris. Yep. Besides a good scorer. Well, because of the uh, low numbers, they are starting in a zone. Maybe they just did it on the out inbounds. Who knows? Juris is going to pick up the foul. Kind of a silly foul there. Yep, long way from the basket. Yeah, that too. Pat Stadler is the head coach for the uh, Indians. Seemed very nice, talking to us a little bit before. Zastro with a steal. Nice pass to Juris for uh, easy two. Yeah. 
Not a lot of people here tonight, Marty. No. Wait till uh, Friday night and Saturday. I think it'll change a little bit, but that's the third turnover already on Stockbridge. Tyler Zastro comes into the game, 50th in the state in scoring. Penetrating deep, but couldn't make anything happen. Then a nice pass by Juris over to Sheely, who missed the inside bunny shot. Stockbridge comes away with the rebound. Wow, Stockbridge shoot at all costs. What do you got to lose? Exactly. That shot was no good by Casey Cliff. <laughs> Light pump, kick out pass to Juris. Another shot. That money nails. It's been all Juris here tonight. Well, the one thing we noticed this year is Lutheran passes really well. It seems like they always know where each other are, and uh, that was another case of that. Ecker with a runner, no good. And then uh, the ball tipped out of bounds by uh, Casey Cliff. 7-0 lead here for uh, Lutheran. They're trying to put it away early. Come into tonight's game with a uh, record of 20-2, uh, and 16-0 and in conference. Jeff Hess with a 10-footer is good. Well, Stockbridge is lost by uh, 19 to Elkhart Lake, 40 to Sheboygan Cedar Grove, and so Wolfel tough night a, for him. Yeah, I see Wolfel from outside the line had a pretty good look, but couldn't get it to go. Zastro, kick out pass. Good passing. Yeah, very good work. Zastro with a three. Twelve point run to start the game for the Crusaders. Wolfel going hard to the hoop, couldn't get it in. Hess with the rebound off the Sheely miss, he puts it in. Well, the other thing that Stockbridge is uh, in trouble with, and Lutheran will notice this for the next couple weeks, is Lutheran is fast, and they get down the court quickly. Uh, a lot of these kids run cross country. Very good shape. Shot from the inside by Jeffers is no good. Stockbridge 0 for 5. Juris not bashful tonight. 17-0 run. We expected a fast start, Chris, but not like this. Yeah, 60 percent shooting in the first uh, three and a half minutes, and uh, Stockbridge is thinking uh, it's time to get on the bus. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Lutheran High School where the Crusaders have uh, jumped out to a 17 to nothing lead. And it's only 7.07. <laughs> really? We just sat down. After tonight's game, uh, Lutheran in all likelihood will win. They'll play the winner of Elkhart Lake and uh, Living Word Lutheran. Uh, that would be played here on uh, Friday, February 28th. We also made uh, a bracket out, or copied a bracket out for the girls because uh, we will be covering North. Reverse layup attempt is no good. Hess on the bust out, takes it hard to the hoop and lays it in. Jeff Hess, he's three for three. Jeff coming in at nine points a game, nine, seven a game. When I asked you that question in the opening, you know, what do you expect uh, Lutheran to do tonight? When I was, what I was thinking as I asked that question, if I'm coach for Hagen, what I want my team is to play solid, not, you know, get uh, casual right. and, and get lazy and. Uh, right, and that's why they, they came out ready and 
Turning it up a little bit. Picking up the foul for uh, Stockbridge was Keith Ecker, number 10. That's his second, Chris. And you want to get your guy some time. But uh, again, I mean, got to hit the brakes a little bit. Brandon Hams, Harms comes in the ball game. Latest rating, uh, re rating had Sheboygan Lutheran second in state behind Green Bay New. Jump Make shot from three point land is good by Cliff and he finally breaks the run. Inside feed to Sheely. Bad defensive breakdown there. Well, as, like I said, it's just a tough night for Stockbridge. Lutheran is fast, uh, athletic. Uh, they have size. They don't have great size, but they do against Stockbridge. It's a nice shot, though. Jump shot by Wolfel is Seven, off. And uh, good break up by Jordan Burns. Well, the other thing we noticed, too, is uh, turnovers against Christian was just obnoxious. I had him for 23. Wow. And, and Wolfel can get up there. Yep. I had him for 23, and... Other people had him for more than that. Wolfel from way downtown. No good. Hess's shot is blocked. Save attempt by Harms is uh, not good. Coming in for uh, the Crusaders is Jacob Ames and uh, Nathan Hosenstein. I don't know about you, Chris, but the last couple of uh, possessions by Lutheran with the uh, iffy passing is what concerns me. Yep. Ames had a funny shot in the lane, couldn't get it in, and then uh, Ames picks up a foul. Ecker and uh, Kevin Nusshard coming in. For Nusshard, it's his first uh, appearance in the game. And checking in is Taylor Zastro for uh, your favorite player on the Crusaders, Ryan Chile. I like Ryan because he gets all those little rebounds, kind of does the little things, good defender. Another three-point basket, that one by Casey Cliff again. See, that's what Luke, or Stockbridge needed to do from the get-go, hit those early shots to keep themselves in the game. My coach, Dale Carlake, we went to play at Stockbridge. Ames yep. again with a bunny miss, but he puts the rebound up and in. They have a uh, stage right by the, under their basket, Marty, just like the armory. Drive to the basket is good by Ecker. Years ago, back when Stacy Rush was uh, here at Lutheran, they played a tournament game in Stockbridge. And uh, they won. It was a close game. It wasn't against Stockbridge. It was against uh, another team. They must have been uh, deeper in the tournament at that point. Looked like a foul underneath. No call. Lutheran gets the rebound on the miss. Taylor's Astro hard to the basket, no good. Gets the rebound, puts it back up, and that's no good, but he is fouled. Casey Cliff on the foul. Yeah, you gotta keep track of uh, Zach Wolfel, make sure he gets his thousandth point, Marty. Yep. I'm putting you in charge of that. You know, we got to get the people that are really in charge over there at the table so they can say something when it happens. I think Zach feels a little pressure to uh, score the 10 points, too. He's, not that he's forced any shots, but uh, hasn't hit any yet. There's a good shot of uh, Taylor's Astro. 
It's a big accomplishment, Marty, but it's not what it was. They play more games now than they used to play. So you get a extra opportunities, but still a nice accomplishment. Ecker from the lane Ooh. pops it in. They got nice shooting form, Marty. They do. They got just not enough horses in the stable. Not enough tall guys. That's, yep. Man-to-man -man defense now by the Indians. Yep. Well, they looked well coached. Juris, shot is no good. Taylor's Astro fighting hard for the rebound, but it comes away to uh, the Indians. There it goes. <laughs> Wolfel. They're going to call the foul on the floor. I thought, you know, he kept the continuation going, wanted to draw that two shot foul. Ozzie committing to foul. There's 30.8 seconds left in the quarter. It's 26 to 10. Lutheran on top. They've had a great start. Started the, the quarter on a 20 nothing run. I can see why Lutheran would want to put the pressure on Chris. The ball handling is somewhat suspect. Good defense by Hosenstein on Wolfel, preventing the shot. Wolfel with a good look, couldn't get it in. There's under 10 seconds left. Hosenstein, in and out. And Wolfel shot at the buzzer is no good. We're at the end of one quarter of play. Lutheran on top, 26 to 10. We have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say... Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Back at uh, Lutheran High School. Crusaders with a great start, Chris. Uh, they, they really shot well, especially early in the, in the quarter. <coughs> 47% for Lutheran. Not too bad. Just 28 for Stockbridge. 19 shot attempts ready for Lutheran. I mean, we we did some North boys games this year, and they, they don't even get 19 shots and a half. I mean, they <laughs> used to, but not this year. Juris open. He nails another three. He's got 13 points. Three of six from out there. He's been getting his shots, that's for sure. Little backdoor cut. Sweet. Wolfel lays it up and in. Called play out of the uh, quarter break. Works to perfection. Taylor Zastro with a three. Oh, my. Three different guys with three pointers. And that's the problem with Lutheran is you got so many guys to guard and so many offensive weapons. That's why they're going to have a very good chance for a run this, this year. Shot from outside the line is no good by Cliff. A nice pass to Sheely for an easy two. They just use that speed. Wolfel. 
I don't think he left his feet, but the referee called him for a travel. That was too good of a fake. Oop. Juris got away with what looked like a, a double dribble. Yep. Inside feed to Sheely. His shot is blocked by Wolfel. Pushing it hard to the basket. Now he is forcing a little bit, Chris. He had a guy on the wing that he could have passed it out to. Juris. One of seven. Wolfel. Hosenstein couldn't get it in. And he had a nice look, just didn't get it to go. Ames uh, kept it alive. Lutheran keeps the possession. Looks like Stockbridge is back in a zone. Taylor Zastro with a three. Lutheran's got to look at the big picture. Big picture. Cliff, no good. Basket is up and in by Brandon Harms. Sheely gets the rebound on the miss, and then he makes a shot attempt, but it goes off, and uh, Wolfel with the rebound. Zastro and Hess coming back in for uh, the Crusaders and uh, checking in for the Indians of Stockbridge's Jordan Burns. Oop, they got too many players on the floor. <laughs> Good no call. Taylor's Astro. Couldn't get it. Coming away with that rebound was Sam Jeffers. Wolfel hard to the basket and scores. See how he gets so deep, I don't like that. Gotta do a better job. Juris no good. Out on the run. Sastro. Cliff, oh. no good. Sastro with the foul. Good look down the floor by uh, Zach Wolfel for Stockbridge. Cliff leads uh, the Indian scorers now with five points. Boys playing before the girls seven. this year yeah. in the state tournament, yeah. Marty. I, that was a mistake there. He has seven points. He had two threes. Oh, sorry about that. Early on. No, that was my bad. So that's why boys tournament starting girls last week for them. Last games this week. It's hard to believe it's tournament time already. Zastro hard to the basket and scores. Nice shot by Tyler. Well, given the way the scoring has gone here in the first half, uh, Lutheran should hit 80 again. Kiss off the glass by Jeffers, and he's got himself a basket. Astro got pushed pretty hard, draws the foul. Foul goes on uh, Wolfel, that's his first. You know, you get in a game like this, and it's like every man for themselves. I'm getting my points, man. <laughs> well, I think you look at the big picture and uh, try to, uh, like I said, try to stay healthy. I got a little nervous when Tyler went up for that block before. And Pretty flat on the free throw, but he got it to roll in. He didn't even like it. <laughs> Neither did the announcers. <laughs> If Eddie Doucette were sitting where I'm sitting, he'd say that was a pancake. Pancake, <laughs> yep. Wolfel, bango, giving him a three. Well, trying to get uh, something going, and uh, 
Luther not able to make the inside pass is complete. That does get kicked out of bounds by the other guys. Wolfel now with seven points, Chris. Three away from that magic thousand mark. Juris off the glass and in. Only Junior with a lot of playing time for Lutheran. Juris in that uh, Netherland for him inside the three point yep. arc. Got two two pointers tonight. I'll bet on the year he's probably got more threes than he does twos. Yep. Oh, good steal by Juris. And does the smart thing, kicking it out. Three seconds by Schiele. Throw that extra pass. I mean, he didn't know. By Palm again, being very unselfish. Ecker bringing it up. Token pressure at the beginning, and then uh, Lutheran drop back. Jump shot is off by Jeffers. Hosenstein on a nice feed to uh, Juris for two. Nice pass. Two forty left in the first half. Wolfel step back three point attempt is no good. And another, they're going to call a foul on Wolfel. It looked like a clean block. I think he got him after Marty. That's two fouls here. You're going to get a look at it. Yeah, he got him with the body. Yep. Good replay, boys. Sure, six of ten from the floor already. And again, lots of shot attempts for Lutheran. Lutheran going to try some of their 1-3-1. One, one. You know, this is when you do it here, too. You, stuff for you to work on. You're not showing up your opponent. It's just a chance for you to practice against somebody besides somebody in a green and white shirt. Yeah, good During point. the week. Move. Good point, Chris. Ecker, Burns, Cliff, Jeffers, and Wolfel in the ball game for uh, the Indians. Deep three by Cliff, and he's got it. That was from downtown. Stockbridge not afraid to put points. Shoot it up there. Ames, nice pass by Hess inside, and a basket is up and in by Wolfel. No. Zastro, pardon me. Yep. And he's fouled. Could be a three point play. Zastro has 12 points, Chris. Make it 13. Uh, they're looking at 100 now. 50 points and we're not at halftime. Wow. Cliff. Oh, baby. He's feeling it. Zastro had a good look. Couldn't get it in. Got the rebound. Ames trying to tip it out but couldn't gather it in. 120 left in the first half. It's been all Lutheran. Yep. And that was a good call. He picked them clean uh, earlier in the quarter, but not that time. Earlier in the half, actually. Now watch that. Right there, yep. That's yeah, almost automatic. Back cut again by Wolfel. 
Off the glass and in. He's got to be close now, Marty. He's got nine. Yeah, I have him for three baskets and a three. Nice pass again. Inside to Ames. That one he puts in, no problem. Two of four from the floor for Jacob. Under a minute. Yep. Another back cut, Wolfel. And stolen by Zastro. Up and in. You know that last pass out where it was intercepted, I almost thought Wolfel should have forced that shot up there. Ecker called for the travel. Nine turnovers on Stockbridge. Harms and Nusshard coming in. Looks like uh, Lutheran's going to play for one, Chris. Well, Wolf almost got his third foul yeah, there. That, that would not be good. No, you're absolutely right there. Juris around and out. Lutheran gets the rebound. Zastro at the buzzer. No good. And we're at halftime here at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran High School where the Crusaders lead it 54 to 31. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best, a team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe because our nation expects more. If you expect more, maybe you. Hi everyone, I'm Emily. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Back, back at uh, Lutheran High School, getting ready to start second half action. I'll go through some scoring real quick. Ecker had four, Wolfel had nine. He needs one more for a thousand. Jeffers two. Uh, Cliff led all scores for uh, Stockbridge with 14, and Harms had two. Four Lutheran. Ames had four. Sheely four. Hess six. Taylor Zastro eight. Tyler Zastro, 15, and leading all scorers for the ball game, Jeff Hess with 17 points. Uh, Chris, we were talking about the mercy rule. Explain that to our fans. Well, I guess they said that after uh, 40 points, it'll be uh, running clock, and I believe even if it gets under now, it just keeps running too. Even if it gets under the 40-point thing, it doesn't matter once you hit that, but uh, So I once you hit I, 40, it runs? Yeah, I just, I never like big blowouts, just get the victory. I hope they don't reach 100 personally. I just don't think. John Schumann wouldn't let his team get to 100. Yeah, he'd I, he'd call off the dogs big yep. time. Just run just run motion. But uh, 31 points for Stockbridge is a lot of points to give up. They shot 44% uh, from the floor. Problem was Lutheran had 10 more shot attempts. They're shooting 51%. That's how the game started was with a turnover. We'll start the second half that way. Wolfel, jumper outside the lane is off, no good. Juris with the good rebound. Kicks it up to Phil Lipom. Haven't called Phil's name much tonight. 
He's been passing a lot, Marty. Being very Jastro to Hess. Easy layup. Hess with eight points. Ecker got it in the down near the basket, but couldn't get any penetration. That shot is off. There you go. Light pump for two. Moving screen there. <laughs> well, I agree with him. You don't need your kids hurt. Castro looking over the uh, defense. Juris posting up. Did a good job of posting, but he's got to make the bunny shot. Coach Stadler calls timeout before a turnover happens. 6.20 left. I know, Chris, we didn't get to talk at all about uh, the halftime stats. Well, I just basically said uh, 19 of 37 shooting for Luther, 37 shot attempts and a half. I mean, we had some games this year that both teams didn't shoot 37 of shot attempts in the, for the ball game. That's a lot. A lot of shot attempts, six of 15, six threes for Luther. But I Stockbridge has five. I know you said, uh, boy, Stockbridge already has 31 points, but I think anytime you are running up and down the court, you know, you're going to wind up giving up more points because you're giving the other team more opportunities. Absolutely. Casey Cliff is going to toss it in for uh, the Indians. Wolfel from outside the line. Tyler Zastro with the uh, rebound. Coach wants him to run their offense. Zastro has seven rebounds already for the little guy. He's been in the middle of the action. Had that three-point play underneath the basket. A little runner goes for him right there. Wolfel. Looked like he had an opening to the basket. Passed it out to uh, Ecker. Who shot was no good. Zastro got it in. Zastro has uh, 19 points. And a block. Pretty close to nailing it right into uh, Lacey Fister's camera. All for six for Sockbridge so far. Richard Bartson on the top camera. Lacey Fister, new to the crew tonight, uh, running the uh, floor camera. Gary's watching you. Yeah, Make sure you don't mess up again. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott Mailoff in the truck directing, sort of, <laughs> in the absence of the boss. Who's that? Uh, who's the color pronouncer? Oh, Chris Wright. <laughs> Casey Cliff, no good. Juris with the rebound. Long lead feed to Zastro. Got it in. He's lighting up the scoreboard now, Chris. For the last six points for the Crusaders. And Juris read it and missed the layup. Zastro put it in. Clear your bench, coach. Made your point. Almost a steal. Ecker had it tipped away, and now it is taken away by the Crusaders. Four minutes left in the third quarter, over. Kick out pass to Sheely. His rainbow three attempt is no good. And we get a foul on Sheely. Stockbridge comes out 0 for 8. They were cold to start the game, and they're cold now. Peter Birschbach 
checking in along with uh, Brandon Harms and uh, Nooshart was the third guy that came in. Good hustle on the defense by Hess. Shot from the wing is no good. And uh, it's one of those kind of starts again, eh, Chris? Yep. It's a 12 nothing run to start the second half. We had a yep. 20 nothing run to start the ball game. Yep, and it's uh, nine misses in a row for Stockbridge, you look at Zastro, he's four for four in the quarter. Aim setting up on the high post against the zone. Or are they playing man to man? Uh, good feed by uh, Lipom over to Ames for an easy two. Lipom only has two, but he has five rebounds and a boatload of extra nice passes. Ball taken away by Zastro. I agree, Chris. Time to pull off the starters. Got ninth graders playing against seniors in high school. You can see why uh, Stockbridge is going to have trouble. Ozenstein has it. 250 left in the third quarter. Shot is no good by Hasenstein, but Lutheran comes away with it. Zastro with another rebound, Chris. And a good feed to Hasenstein for an easy two. Zastro with nine boards. He got a bunch of assists too, Chris. And stolen away, it's gonna be an easy two for Phil. Coach Stadler is going to get his starters back in the ball game. Casey Cliff, no good. Tapped out of bounds by uh, Lutheran. Can't find the basket. 0 for 11. They had such a nice second quarter, Stockbridge, but just not uh, going in now. Number 10, Ecker. Number 12, Wolfo. Number 13, Jeffer. Inside to Jeffer. Nope, that was Ecker for two. Finally. Yeah, first basket of the second half for uh, the Indians. Nice pass again. Hess, good look at the three pointer, but couldn't get it in. Light palm. And that's one thing we haven't had a lot of. Uh, yeah. Timeout by Luther and a 30 second timeout. I was going to say, not a lot of fouls. I know they got a foul there. Well, Chris, before uh, Stockbridge scored that basket, it was a 20 nothing run to start the second half. Uh, we started the ball game that way. Yeah, just uh, duplicate starts in the first and third quarter. 41 point lead for uh, the Crusaders. Lutheran shooting 66% in the quarter. And again, another 20 point quarter. And on the other side, just one of 12 for Stockbridge. Quarter number three. Check. Feed into uh, Ames was tipped away. Good play by uh, the Indians. Turnover number four for Lutheran. They had none in the second quarter. Wolfel, they're going to wave it off. That would have been 1,000 and 1,001. Eisenstein commits the foul. Second foul on Lutheran Stockbridge with none. 
Shot from outside the lane is no good by Harms. Rolling down to a minute left in the quarter. Taylor Zastro taking it right down Main Street. His shot attempt is no good, but he's fouled. Ball's going to go on uh, Jeffers. It's his first. Taylor had a nice first half. Finished with uh, eight points. Now has nine. And two of five shooting. He had two threes. Free throws. Eric Puxic in the ball game for the first time. Stockbridge trying to get the offense going. Get it over to the man. Wolfel with a jump shot. Couldn't get it in. Taylor's Astro open for just a second. Couldn't get it. Rebound by Wolfel. And a good feed over to his teammate, Jeffers, who lays it up and in. Fifteen seconds left. Open it, open it, open. Go, keep, go, keep. Shot is up and in by Puxich. Nice play. Wolfel from half court. Oh, that would have been fun. <laughs> that would have been neat. How do you hit your your thousandth point from <laughs> three quarters court? At the end of three quarters of play, it's 78-35. Best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? They look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I had bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadayUSA.org. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org Back at Lutheran High School, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. We're going to see if uh, Chris was right about this running clock business. 64% shooting in that quarter for Lutheran. I am shocked. I am shocked. All of the starters on the floor for Lutheran again. Yeah, that's not right. Well, I think you made a point earlier on. You don't want anybody to get hurt. Well, and what's the point? Exactly. And we're shooting threes. Come on, Nick. You know better than that. Got five JV guys in the, on the side over there. Sides ahead, all the scoring added up. There it is. No. no. Good try. Couldn't get it in. Back cut by Juris is no good. All he can do is save it to Casey Cliff, who's pushing it up hard. He shoots a 15-footer. Bingo. Nails it. Pulls it out. They're running the offense uh, very patiently this time. Back door. Another back door. They're in block. Try 
Trying to get a layup, Chris. They're going to get one. And Zastro's going to draw the foul. He's six for six in the quarter. He has 27 points in the ball game, looking for 28. Hasenstein yep. comes in. And I think it's Puksic at the band, at the table waiting to check in for uh, Zastro, Tyler Zastro. What's that free throw in? For the game right now, Lutheran at 57% shooting. Wolfel working hard, trying to get it. Overlays. He's getting frustrated. I don't blame yep. him. Good drive at the basket, too. He's just 3 of 17, Marty, from the floor. Yeah, he's had a tough shooting night. I think he's, I thought he's had a lot of pretty good, pretty good looking shots. They just wouldn't drop for him. Hess, hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Jeffers with the rebound. Casey Cliff, off no good. Wolfel, bango, there's 1,000. We were waiting for that one. I think they're going to have an announcement. Class by Nick Verhagen right here. Big time class. Lutheran calls the timeout to give a little recognition to uh, Zach Wolfel. That's the right thing to do. Zach Wolfel, number 12 for uh, Stockbridge Indians. And congratulating Zach Wolfel for going over 1,000 points in his history of career. Nice thing by Coach Verhagen, I'll tell you. There you get a look at the back of Zach. Zach Wolfel, number 12. He <laughs> worked awfully hard <laughs> to get those last uh, points. Good for him. Sitting at 1,002, that three-pointer. Jacob Berg in the ball game. Hasenstein had his shot blocked, but they're going to call a foul on uh, Wolfel. Three. I got him for three. And the first. Take that back. Four. Oh. I missed a couple free fouls. Ozzy at the line for uh, the Crusaders. Our next uh, WIA tournament broadcast will be this Friday when uh, Lutheran plays the winner of uh, Elkhart Lake Glen Beulah and Living Word Lutheran. That's a 7 o'clock game right here. Wolfel. Again, couldn't get it in. Had a nice look. Sheely with a rebound. 3.30 left in the ball game. Seven rebounds for Sheely. A lot of guys for Stockbridge will be back next year, Marty, which will be nice for them. Of course, yes. they lose a thousand point score. Yeah, which really. Is, uh, that's huge. That's a lot of points. Although Cliff looks like he can uh, put it in. Ball tipped away. Puxich had a wide open layup and couldn't get it in. Casey Cliff, little stop and go. Wanted to shoot the pop back jumper, but Hess played the good D. Jeffers on the uh, jump hook, no good. 2.45 left. Timeout by uh, Lutheran again. Coming in the ball game will be Justin Welsh. 
It's a full timeout, Scott. Why don't you take us to a break? I tell people I have three kids. One of them's adopted. I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him. So. We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Back at uh, Lutheran High School, uh, not a whole lot of analysis on this game, Chris. It's been such a blowout right from the start. But I'm waiting for you to analyze. Yeah, well, I... Get off your phone, man. Get Check comments. the Badger game when you get home. Seen. Are we supposed to be on tonight? We are not on tonight, no. That's what somebody was asking. At uh, 250 bucks a game. I know. That's why I didn't think we were. That's why... Just making sure. Josh Pingle in the ball game. Welsh we mentioned. I don't know, I like Pingle's number, man. That's pretty cool at 25. I can go for that. Harms, Nusshart, and uh, Bershbach in the ball game for uh, the Indians. Tried to get the little pick and roll kind of play to uh, Welsh, but uh, the Indians were on to him. Second half, Stockbridge is 19% shooting, Marty. Yep, clock is running. Three point attempt is down. Jacob Berg with a three pointer. As Mr. Wright would say, another country heard from. Stockbridge just continues to not find the basket, Marty. They're not running out of blanks. 120 left. Clock has been running, by the way. And another timeout to get some uh, players in. Coming in is going to be uh, Vinny Montezella the third, and Nathan Sampson. The third, Pastor Berglund. No, I was looking at the uh, preseason top ten. Green Bay News currently ranked number one is number one. Sheboygan Lutheran current is three. Preseason is two. Cassville, who I believe is five or four. They're right up there. They were preseason four. So uh, pretty good. The only one that wasn't preseason was Burlington Catholic Central. Three-point attempt is down. Another three-pointer. That one by Josh Pingle. What number? 25. 91 points. Three-point hey. attempt. That, or give it a two. Two-pointer for Nusshart. Good for him. All right, here you go. Passes out of bounds. Good cut that time by Sampson, just a bad pass. Zach Wolfel coming out, getting a lot of love from his teammates and coaches. 30 seconds left, remember the clock has been running. Casey Cliff couldn't get it to go. And Lutheran comes away with the rebound. 20 seconds left in the ball game. And we should just hold it out for the end here. Well, Stockbridge got what they want. They got the 1,000-point winner, and Lutheran moves on. And the road, every time, gets tougher, Marty. All right, leading scorers, Tyler Zastro at 28, Jeff Juris at 20. For uh, Stockbridge, Cliff had uh, 16, Wolfel had 12, and he gained that 1,000 points that he wanted. Uh, that's going to do it for us. Our next ball game will be on Friday. 
when uh, Lutheran hosts the winner of Elkhart Lake, Glen Beulah, and uh, Living Word Lutheran. Uh, for the crew, Lacey Fister and uh, Richard Bartson on cameras, Kerry Kautzer and Scott Mayloff doing the directing for my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.